In this short video, I'm gonna run through the main problems with SEO today with trade businesses, and I'm gonna show you the SEO that actually does work if you're a trade business. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Matt here from Trading Web Guys. Thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna to run through with you observations from dozens of different accounts and clients that we work in the trade space. And I'm gonna to talk to you today specifically about what doesn't work with SEO today and what is working with SEO today. Now, for those of you that are not familiar, SEO is search engine optimization. Essentially, it's your organic ranking on the search engines. So when somebody types something into Google, as SEO, query will be sent to your website provided you have information on your website that reflects what that individual has been looking for. So there's a little bit more to it than that. That's a 30,000 foot overview. Now, the thing that I really want to drive home today, and I'm not going to make this a long video, I just want to show you guys a couple of things that we see working extremely well. And I'll give you some examples of that. And then I'll follow this up, a case study of an actual account that we are running. I'll link to that towards the end of this video. So first and foremost, I wanna show you the landscape of Google at the moment. Now, the reason this is important is because the real estate is paramount. So the days where SEO uh, listings held a huge amount of priority real estate on Google are kind of done. And the reason behind that is essentially because Google is a business and they don't get paid, they don't make any money out of SEO. They make money out of Google Ads. And so their priority and their preference is really to place the listings on their platform, which are gonna make their money, right? So I'm gonna share a screen with you in a minute and I'm gonna show you what the Google landing page actually looks like today. And I'm gonna dispel a couple of myths from the beginning, which a lot of people do get caught up in and especially people that don't know any better. And there's nothing wrong with that. It, you're not expected to, but a lot of times agencies will try and pull the wool over your eyes by trying to tell you, tell you things like top of page results and um, front page listings and all this kind of stuff. And what I'm gonna show you in a minute, will dispel a lot of that. So first and foremost, the other thing that I wanna jump into is reporting and how SEO reporting is, I think, fractured. And I'm gonna show you why that is. And then we're gonna pull it all together with, we see working very, very well for our clients at the moment in the space of optimizing SEO campaigns for trade-based businesses. So stay tuned for that. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna jump over into Google. Now, you will see right here that I have brought up a incognito window. The reason I did that is because I didn't want it to deliver a bias response. So you'll notice here it's in an incognito uh, mode. So as you can see here, I have typed in to Google roofing company Balmain. Now, uh, Balmain is a uh, suburb within in a city of Sydney. So the first thing that you're gonna see show up here is a sponsored links. Sponsored links are essentially paid campaigns. You may be familiar with the term Google ads or cost per click or anything like that, pay per click. So that is basically these listings here. So what Google is saying is, and these businesses right now are currently optimizing for roofing company Balmain. So they are paying for the privilege to be present here. And if I was to click on this, any one of these listings, they would actually get charged for that and the cost per click for this search term was probably be around 15 bucks, I imagine. So it's, it can, as you can imagine, be quite expensive. And, but what I really wanna show you right now is the real estate. So you can see the first thing that I'm gonna see here is a, the sponsored links. And then as we scroll down further, you can see here this Google business profile. So this is Google Maps listings right here. And you might be thinking, wow, this is pretty cool real estate. And it is, and we're gonna to get to that in a minute. And then underneath here, we have our SEO listings. So these are organic. As you can see, it's okay. It's good real estate if you're holding the top positions. However, in order to get here, it can take a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of money. The other thing that you'll notice immediately here is some of these listings within the SEO space are actually aggregate sites that are essentially wanting you to pay for listings anyway. So you'll start to see things like yellow pages, one flare, um, and you'll see more and more of these show up, um, high pages, things like that. And then of course, after that, it drops back down to uh, sponsored listings at the bottom of the page. So automatically you can see here, we go from sponsored pages, sponsored links, 
listings, sorry. And then we scroll down to Google Business Profile. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, say 10 or so SEO listings of which a couple of them are paid aggregate sites. And then we jump back into sponsored links as well. So if you're spending money at the moment on standalone SEO, essentially what you're trying to do is show up within these top 10 or well, these 10 spaces on the search engine, which is not necessarily a great thing. Now, at the time of recording this video, which is July the 2nd in 2024, you will notice that we do actually now again have pages on Google. Now, this is quite new. It was relatively, I want to say, only literally a couple of weeks ago, maybe max, where there were no pages on Google. It was just one big scrolling page. Now, the concern, of course, is that um, we don't have any control over this and they chop and change it as they see fit, which means from one minute, you can have somebody who's trying to promote front page listings for you. And then the next minute, they can't promote it because it doesn't actually exist. So what I would be saying is this real estate here in the SEO space, although it would be nice to have, it's really not standalone strategy. It can be part of a strategy and I, we do encourage that sometimes. However, if you really wanna move the needle, this real estate here, this Google business profile, we see as being great real estate and I'll show you why. When we jump into these listings a little bit further, you'll notice that they have the ability to direct to the website or call directly from the platform. And of course, this is the same from a mobile device, which basically means uh, people can just literally call you straight from the listing itself, as opposed to having to go to the link in the SEO listing and then go to your web page and then click on the phone number uh, from the actual web page. They can just do it all from here. So we find that these, uh, the Google business profile listings are actually the best organic real estate by a long shot when it comes to SEO for trade businesses today. And in fact, we have an entire program which we call Local Surge, which is designed around optimizing that. And now I wanna show you a little bit about how the reporting side of SEO can be a bit convoluted and tying into that, the results that you can get from a well-run local SEO program, dialing in the Google business profile listing. So this is a report of ours that we send out to clients each, each month. And as you can see, and you will see in a minute, these reports, they may be something that you've seen in the past in the sense of people sending you stuff which doesn't really mean anything. Now, the problem with these reports is in most cases, and because they are actually working, you will see a lot of green, and that, which means that you are getting results, but typically what you're seeing is you're moving from positions where you're not ranking at all to positions where you are starting to rank, but that doesn't necessarily make the phone ring. And that's the biggest problem and my biggest gripe when it comes to SEO. Although all the reporting and everything can show you green, it doesn't mean the phone's gonna ring. So this is why we prefer now as part of our strategy, if not our standalone strategy when it comes to organic, is to optimize Google business profile listings because what I'm gonna show you in a second is actual data from the platform here with how many phone calls we've had, how many direction requests we've had and how many website clicks we've had in that monthly period. Now, of course, you can also track these things yeah, through Google, Google Analytics on websites and things like that. But the point I'm trying to make is in terms of the real estate, the bang for buck when it comes to local SEO, uh, we feel is far superior to what you would get from a traditional campaign, which essentially shows you a lot of green reports and shows you that you are improving, but it doesn't really guarantee the phone's gonna ring. Whereas here we're seeing these are over a very short period of time, I only came on board in November and they're already getting significant results. So it is, it is a very good uh, place for you to start when it comes to SEO. Now, going back to, I suppose, the ecosystem of search, would I recommend this as a standalone service? Sometimes, yes. However, it is important to understand what it is from an objective point of view that the company that we're working with is trying to achieve because sometimes you might need to implement or integrate some form of paid traffic campaign, which might come from Google, or perhaps it comes from Facebook or Meta or whatever it might be, 
in order to help the business achieve the outcomes. So we often find that um, a, a local SEO campaign can work quite well in conjunction with a paid traffic campaign because it, as it takes a little bit of time for the local SEO campaigns to get traction, the paid traffic campaigns can kind of pick that up straight away. And so you've kind of there got a nice blend of um, organic and then paid traffic looking forward, which forms what I like to call the ecosystem of search, which ticks a lot of different boxes. So very rarely would I um, recommend standalone SEO as a service today. I would definitely uh, include it as part of a service. But as you can see, um, you know, there's certainly a lot of weight being able to have your business listed um, in this real estate right here uh, with the Google Maps listing and the Google, Google Business Profile. So anyway, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you guys are interested in how you can get your business ranking within this three pack here, then please head across to tradingwebguys.com.au. And as I mentioned before, if you wanna see another case study on how this um, rolls out for some clients of ours, this is the video for you. Cheers. New Zealand-based home renovation company, 6,593% ROAS. Sydney-based solar company, 2,700% ROAS. Hunter region-based bathroom renovation company, 5,616% ROAS. Melbourne-based building company, 13,182% return on ad spend. Adelaide-based solar company, 2,881% return on ad spend. Guys, the list goes on and on. If you're a trade-based business and you work with projects like roofing, solar, bathroom renovations, kitchen renovations, anything like that, head across to tradey.wiki forward slash pod for podcast. tradey.wiki forward slash pod for podcast. Book in a conversation. It is game changing.